Simply put, abstraction is the process of exposing to the user only what they need and moving the specifics of the implementation under the hood. So let me show you what I mean. This code is a mess and we can clean it up using abstraction. An essential way that you can achieve abstraction is by defining functions. They abstract away the details of the implementation and provide an easy to use function name. So I'm going to abstract away the specific implementation of the different sections of all this code into different functions and then you'll see it's actually very clear what it means. So this first part is about getting the data from a file. So I'm going to put all of that into a function. This next part is all about removing duplicate data. So I'm going to put all of this into a function. And then all of this section down here is about correcting the key names. So I'm going to put all of that inside a function as well. And now, if I wanted to run all of that, I would simply get the data. Remove the duplicates. And then correct the key names. Now just look at how much more easy this is to understand. We're only showing the user what they need and those details of the implementation are packed up into each of those functions. This makes your code easier to understand and to use. We can always look into the function if we want to see the details, but at a glance, we just see what we need. Now, when you scan over this code to look at what's happening, you can see the function names down here and you know what, exactly what they're doing because they're well named. I actually think that Python's indentation syntax makes it remarkably easy to get an overview of what's happening in code. In most cases, the level of indentation quite literally represents the level of detail that you're going into. If you want a high level overview of, of the code, I find you can just look at what's defined on the outermost level. I can see these three functions. It's very clear what they do because of their names. And if I want more detail, well then I can just look into the definition of each of them in the next level of indentation. Another way that you can achieve abstraction is by implementing classes. Again, they abstract away the detail of any setup or internal code into that nice package. So here's code before and after I've put it into a class. Now, again, I can just look at the outermost level of indentation to get an idea of what's going on in this whole file. I can see that there's a person and I'm describing them. And all of the detail is happening inside here. And I don't have to worry about those specific implementation. By looking at this, it's really easy to understand what is happening and how I can use this. So you should try and use abstraction lavishly, but it's not necessary to abstract everything up into a single line of code. The real art is finding the right level of abstraction that makes it easy to understand, but also easy to extend. So in practice, you want to use layers of abstraction. So let's take a look at that. So here in this cell, we've combined many different types of processing, loading in data, removing duplicates, etc., into a single function. But if each of these consists of several lines, then it's gonna get hard to tell which part of the function relates to which part of the processing. Abstracting everything into this one function will make it harder to use and to debug. It's gonna be a big mess in here if there's lots of lines. And there might also be cases where we want to apply different parts of the processing independently, especially if you want to define automatic tests to test that each of them work as expected on their own. So because of that, it makes sense to firstly abstract the code relating to each part of the processing into its own function, and then abstract all these together into a single function that performs every step. And that's what I've done down here. So, here I've moved each of the individual lines of processing into their own function, which has an easy to understand name. And then down here, I've got one function which does each of those things. 
And finally, when I actually use this, I just call that preprocessed data function. So again, I can trace back the level of detail that I need. Firstly, by looking at the outermost level of indentation, I see that at a glance, if I take one thing away from this code, it's preprocessing data. If I want to get into the details of that, well, then I can look at this function definition. I can say, okay. And when it does the preprocessing of the data, it's loading the data, correcting the column names, and then correcting the data types. And then if I want more detail on any of them, I can look at the individual functions that contain that implementation. So once we've done this, it makes it easy for anyone to look at the code and understand what it does. With the right level of abstraction, your code can be a lot better.